This is the story of how I made it to day 100 of NoFap after five years of being addicted to pornography. I remember NoFap was one of the first self-improvement concepts that I discovered and there were all these benefits promised. Like after a week, like you feel better about yourself and you have like an aura around you, you'd be happier, girls would start to like you and stuff like that. There was all these crazy benefits to it and I was so excited to, to, to try it. And I remember I would go for a week or two weeks at a time and then I would just keep relapsing, keep relapsing. And eventually I just realized like, I can't do this. I can't, I can't quit this addiction and I'm just gonna have to try something else. So that's what I did. I just, I gave up on NoFap and I tried other self-improvement things like reading books and stuff like that. And a few years later, my friend, I was just stuck in the cycle for like years, like four, four years. And my friend recommended Hamza, the self-improvement YouTuber to me. And his philosophy on NoFap was different than anything I had heard before. He said that NoFap isn't the cause of your poor mental health, but rather it is an effect of it. The reason why you keep relapsing, the reason why you keep using pornography is because you're not taking care of yourself. And this really stuck out, stuck out to me. And I started to really, I started to follow Hamza's advice, which was to exercise, meditate and and do gratitude journaling right and these three habits drastically started to improve like my daily life and and the way I, I i felt like my mental health pretty much right i just started feeling better and along with exercise i started getting more sleep and eating healthier right so i just just overall my health improved my mental health improved and i was still addicted to to pornography right i still couldn't quit but what i started to to quit instead was I started to cut down on social media, you know, deleting TikTok and stuff. I cut down on on uh, I cut down on, on video games and eventually quit video games. I quit anime. I quit uh, reading manga, comics, television, all these these things that were like distracting me or instant gratifications. I quit a lot of these things, and finally, I was starting to make progress towards my goals. I was building more muscle and things like that because I, I had improved my mental health. But for some reason, I was still still stuck in the, the loop of pornography right and i remember I, I just couldn't figure out like how to do how to how to quit so i eventually read a book on on the subject on quitting pornography called virgin and this is a, it's a really good really amazing book and with a lot of great insights but the the thing that stood out to me the most was a chart and it said the reason why you relapsed like even even the reason why you play video games and, and watch social media or television the reason why you're using pornography is because you crave pleasure. And the solution to this is to pursue peace in your life. Find peace in your life. And at first that didn't really make any sense to me, but right now I'm, I'm thinking that peace means you're content or you're, you're, you're present. You're here in the now and you're not feeling stressed. Because what is like one of the biggest reasons that people relapse? People always say, Oh, I was bored. I didn't have anything to do. They're not at peace. They were bored. They didn't have anything to do. And then now they're they're stressed out. And now uh, they, they seek to relieve that stress through relapsing to pornography or through playing video games or something like that. People don't know how to just like exist and, 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 and be content, be happy, right? I was trying to figure out like, what is this? What does this even mean? And a best way I can describe it is valuing instant gratification versus valuing delayed gratification. When you value instant gratification, which is pleasure, what happens is you're happy. You say your happiness is like this, right? Like a chart, right? When you relapse to pornography, right? Your happiness goes up and then it goes down, but then it goes down even worse because you now you feel shameful. You know, you know that's not good for you, right? Same thing if you eat junk food, like you're like this, it tastes good for a little while, but now because you ate junk food, your life actually kind of got worse. You're a little bit more unhealthy, right? And that's the same thing with video games. You waste time, social media, and waste time rot your brain, whatever, right? But delayed gratification is like this. It actually kind of hurts for a little while, but when you do the actions, like say, let's say it's working out, like working out is painful, you gotta go to the gym, do all the hard work, all that stuff. Homework, you gotta go study, put in that mental effort, right? But what happens is when you put in that effort, when you endure that pain, your happiness actually increases after. Because now you have good grades and you're accomplished, or you're starting to build more muscle and you're healthier. All, the, all these things, like they com it compounds, right? So your happiness is actually increasing. And what actually happens is over time, your, your regular happiness is, is actually up here because you put in so much work in the past to improve your life that now you're benefiting from the results and now your life is up here. 
versus people who people who are like me, right? Where they're just indulging in video games and pornography. Their life's down here because they're not taking a lot of action, right? So, but they want to feel good, so they indulge in those instant gratifications so they can feel like they're up there. And then it just goes right back down and, and then they're, they just wasted time and then they're in the same spot. But when you actually start pursuing that delayed gratification, you can actually be here all the time. You can always feel good. And that was the biggest realization for me. I realized that all I had to do to, to finally quit pornography is to value the long-term benefit. It's to understand that by relapsing now, I'm actually not making progress towards my goals. I'm actually just making my life worse because, because it's not good for me. Or same thing with the playing video games, same things with scrolling on social media and things like that. I realized like those things aren't good for me. So by indulging in that now, even though it will feel good, sure, it actually just makes my life worse. So when I came to college, I just wrote down that I'm giving up pornography and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finally like be like, finally rid myself of this addiction. And that's exactly what happened. I came to, to college and it's been a hundred days and I haven't, I have not relapsed since. And it was funny because uh, No Nut November, which is like the annual challenge where men try to go a month without uh, without fapping, right? That was for, that was actually the day I, I hit day 90 and day 90 is is like the traditional no fap timeline challenge. Like you want to get to day 90. So I hit day 90 when No Nut November ended and that was pretty cool. But just looking back on, on these past 100 days, I realized that the problem is still has still not gone away. You know, it's 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 a problem that's even deeper than just watching pornography. Because obviously, pornography has has is really bad for you. Like it, it messes with your brain and stuff like that. But the whole concept of of instant and delayed gratification, right? I was using pornography as a way to escape my the, my life, which I haven't been like working hard in. So now I'm stressed out about things. I'm not taking care of myself as well. So like my mental health was pretty pretty bad. So I wanted to feel good, right? So I would use pornography. But even now, I'm finding myself like still getting urges to to return to pornography, or I'm getting urges to play like video games again. I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be it wouldn't it be nice to play video games again? Wouldn't it be it be nice to watch anime again? And I'm, I'm getting all these thoughts, and the way I'm like I'm I'm like expressing them is like I'm kind of like looking things up, like I'm looking up like things about my favorite shows, or or I've been started watching like like YouTube a lot more recently, and I realize like it's like the same kind of energy, like. The addiction from pornography or video games is gone, but I'm still expressing that through something else. And right now that's that's YouTube. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to avoid the stress of making these YouTube channel, this, these, these videos for the YouTube channel, and the stress from, from school. Because like I said before, when you're bored, you, you get stressed, right? And then you want to get pornography or something to kind of make, make everything feel better. But I realized that the, the right way to actually feel better is to do the work. There's things in your life that you're avoiding that you're not doing, and that's actually leading you to leading you to feel bad. And I've been in college, I, I was realized like I was kind of, I wasn't like, I'm not committing fully to school and to this YouTube channel and because of that. I keep distracting myself and, I, and at first I was distracting myself with parties and things like that and I was trying to get girls but I realized that casual sex is the exact same thing as pornography. It's you crave f feelings, you crave pleasure so you want to express that through just essentially masturbating with it with another person. It feels good, that's, that's what it is but it doesn't actually like improve your life at all. So I realized that I was still kind of stuck in this addiction even though I, I'm, I'm not using pornography or anything. I'm still choosing instant gratification over delayed gratification. And the only way for me to finally break free is to commit to my goals and to commit to my purpose. And right now that's that's building this YouTube channel and growing a following. I mean, make, making this video right here was, was really tough. I had to, I was trying to make this video all day. It's like afternoon right now. Usually I film in the morning. I sat down to film in the morning and I was just, I, I got stressed. I was, I was getting embarrassed about the video. I was thinking that like all, all sorts of things. I was like, you know, I, I just won't do it today. I just, I was, I was about to not film this video, but I realized like, this is the path. This is what I have to do. This is, this is my mission, my, my job, my purpose right now. And if I, if I didn't have this to do, then I would just be scrolling on my phone or on watching YouTube or something. And that's exactly what I was doing when I was supposed to be filming this video. I sat down to film, but I was distracting myself on my phone. And I realized that's what that is. This whole thing of, of NoFap, it's like the problem is bigger than just masturbating. There's a reason why you masturbate. There's a reason why you relapse. And that's because you're trying to escape from the world that you're in. And the solution is to improve the world that you're in and work towards a better world.